A Cat He Plies His Trade, 2007 Imaginative Drawing by Journalist Marguerite Martin of a Couple at the Forest Park Golf Course, Forest Road, Missouri, in 1914, while a caddy leans against a fence a golf caddy. 1790, by Lemuel Francis Abbott in Golf, a caddy is the person who carries a player's bag and clubs, and gives the player advice and moral support. A good caddy is aware of the challenges and obstacles of the golf course being played, along with the best strategy in playing it. This includes knowing overall yardage, pin placements and club selection. A caddy is not usually an employee of a private club or resort. They are classified as an independent contractor, meaning that they are basically self-employed and do not receive any benefits or perks from their association with the club. Some clubs and resorts do have caddy programs, although benefits are rarely offered. Particularly in Europe, the vast majority of clubs do not offer caddies, and amateur players will commonly carry or pull their own bags. The Scots word caddy or caudy was derived in the 17th century from the French word cadet and originally meant a student military officer. It later came to refer to someone who did odd jobs. By the 19th century, it had come to mean someone who carried clubs for a golfer, or in its shortened form, cad, a man of disreputable behavior. The first caddies appeared in 1817 in Edinburgh. It is believed that the first use of a caddy was by the Duke of Albany of Scotland in 1681 while playing the first international golf contest at Leith Links, which resulted in the construction of golfers' land in Edinburgh. For over the next century and a half, caddying was exclusively considered to be an occupation centered on a particular golf club although as golf courses proliferated and the sport was increasingly taken up by the middle class and working classes. Caddying on a regular basis became limited to the most elite clubs. For many decades after the first professional tournaments were played participants at even the richest and most prestigious tournaments continued to use caddies provided by the host club instead of bringing their own. Initially, this was as much because the purses were not lucrative enough to support the concept of golfers employing their own personal caddies as being the result of club policies. Eventually, as purses grew in the second half of the 20th century pro golfers increasingly began to see the advantages of hiring full-time caddies for their exclusive use particularly since a caddy intimately familiar with a particular golfer's game could be expected to offer better and more useful advice on the course. This break with tradition was fiercely resisted for many years by hosting clubs such as Masters Tournament host Augusta National Golf Club. And it was not until the 1980s that pro tournament hosts universally permitted golfers to provide their own caddies. During and even after the Jim Crow era of enforced racial segregation in the United States, Many clubs particularly in the southern United States permitted only blacks to serve as caddies. At the time, the vast majority of such clubs restricted membership exclusively to whites, while blacks were not allowed to play on such courses. Prevailing racial prejudices of this time, coupled with the perception of this era that caddying ought to be considered a servile occupation, clearly influenced such policies. The economic implications of Jim Crow laws provided a further incentive for the administrators of white-only clubs to bar individuals such as poor whites from working as caddies. Many states at this time particularly in the South legally required golf clubs to provide separate washrooms, etc. for blacks and whites. Such clubs would have never allowed caddies access to members-only facilities in any case. Moreover, the Jim Crow morality of the era demanded that whites ensure that blacks have ample opportunity to perform menial work to ensure they contributed to society. Thus attempting to restrict caddying to whites would have been socially unacceptable to the southern white elites of the time. Traditional caddying involves both the golfer and the caddy walking the course. The caddy is in charge of carrying the player's bag, keeping the clubs clean, and washing the ball when on the green, and walks ahead of the golfer to locate their ball and calculate the yardage to the pin and or hazards. Sometimes, a caddy is asked for opinions on matters such as club selection, what slash where to hit and or where to aim a putt. This is the most common method used in golf clubs and is the only method allowed in the PGA and LPGA. The three usual ups of caddying are, show up, shut up, and keep up. Four caddying entails the caddy walking while the players ride in carts. The four caddy will give a whole description and then walk ahead to spot the player's tee shots. The caddy then gets the player's yardage while the players drive their carts from the tee to their shots. The caddy walks ahead again to spot the golfer's next shots. This process is continued until the players reach the green. Once on the green the caddy will read greens, clean golf balls, fix ball marks, and attend the flag. The usual rule is that the first golfer on the greens caddy tends the flag. 
The caddy is also responsible for raking traps on the course. Caddies may be asked to help with club selection, reading greens, weather variables, and marking balls on the green. More than anything else, the caddy is there to make the player's round enjoyable by taking care of menial tasks, speeding up play, and providing mental support if asked. Many clubs use a ranking system. Caddies will start as a trainee, and be promoted through the ranks of intermediate, captain, honor, and finally championship. Many courses start their caddies off at the B level, and after a year move them to A, and on their fourth year, they will receive the title of honor caddy. The intermediate and captain ranks can usually be obtained within the first year of caddying, and the honor rank is usually obtained in the second or third year of caddying. Championship takes at least six years and often as many as ten years to obtain. An alternative ranking system often used in the American Midwest proceeds as B-level, A-level, AA-level, Honor Level, and Evan Scholar. Caddies often obtain a promotion in rank once a year, while often Honor takes two years to achieve and Evan Scholars are only produced by winning the Venerable Evan Scholarship for University. However, in many American clubs, caddies are divided simply between B-caddies, and A-caddies. Caddies report early each morning at the caddy shack where they wait until the caddy master assigns them to a golfer. At that time, they retrieve the golfer's bag and wait to meet the golfer out in an open area. When done with the morning round of golf, the caddy can either wait to work an afternoon loop or leave for the day. Caddies can also begin work later in the morning to work only afternoons based on how busy they anticipate the club to be. Caddies typically work at clubs all week except Mondays with most traffic on weekends, being the busiest days. Additionally, caddies are often allowed to play the course at which they caddy for free, usually on a Monday. On pro golf tours, professional caddies accompany their player to all events, which usually take place from Thursday through Sunday. Additionally, the player may hire their caddy to carry their bag for them during training sessions and practice rounds. At most clubs, caddies are paid at the end of the round by cash, or receive a payment ticket for which they can redeem their wages in the clubhouse. Generally, the player will tip the caddy based on their performance during the round, with extra money given for exemplary work or for working special events such as a tournament. Most American club caddies earn between $80 and $120 per bag, though newer caddies will often earn less than more experienced caddies. Caddies working during a tournament, high-stakes match, or four-day member guest will often earn significantly more, upwards of $150 per round, per bag, at times. It is common for experienced caddies to carry two bags at a time. It is considered acceptable to ask a professional at the course what the average pay for a caddy is, as courses differ. In a professional golf tour setting, a player often pays their caddy a percentage of their winnings, which can be as high as 10%. A common pay scale is 5% for making the cut, 7% for a top 10, and 10% for a win. The caddy also usually receives a salary, as the player is not guaranteed to win money at every tournament. Beginning in the 2020 season, caddies on the European Tour will be eligible to earn bonuses through sponsors' logos on hats, bags, towels, and other caddy tools. Caddies have been depicted in TV, films, and books, including. Thanks for watching.